Hi everyone, it's Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Let's go! Today we have another example of the fashionable tendency to use games as advertising for movies. And based on movies that are already remakes are no exception. This tells us that some people's imagination has gone kaput, and all they can do is capitalize on past successes. Enough about that now. Now onto the game Robocop! What sort of game could we make based on Robocop? Well, you could make a cool shooter, or a tactical browser, or side-scroller, or even a runner. So what did we get here? A sad shooting gallery, and in general, it's unclear as to who wanted it made and who for. Let's take a look at the game first. The graphics in the game are quite good. It is possible to give Robocop a look over and even admire his new design. The enemies, shelters, and even the environment aren't badly designed, but all fun comes to an end here. What to begin with? Well, perhaps that the game is absolutely free, and we know what that means. Yep, there are a lot of donation points here, and they are everywhere! I can't say that it is too overpowering, but it gets to be a real eyesore. And maybe it might not be so bad if you actually felt compelled to spend something on the game, but personally, I don't want to waste my time, let alone my money. And the reason for this is the gameplay. As I said, it is not an action game, it is simply a primitive shooting gallery. A shooting gallery was a fun way to pass time back in the days of Dandy and similar dinosaurs, but for crying out loud, it's 2014 after all! So how does the game work? Robocop runs from one shelter to another. Damn, it is too lame even for a mobile game based on the movie! Robocop runs from one shelter to another. Robocop. Completely decked out with armor up his butt even for crime eradication. Shelters? Alright. So, to put it briefly, run to a new shelter and a new pack of enemies falls out. Kill them, then run to the next shelter. Nope, you can't control Robocop's movements at all during these short runs either. It is awfully monotonous, and even the bosses don't improve the situation. Also in the game, there are some devices like automatic drones and quite a big arsenal of upgrades and weaponry, but all this variety drowns in the pathetic monotony of the gameplay. The verdict? It is a bad and boring game. It looks pretty on the surface, but has nothing underneath. However, nevertheless, it carried out its designated task, which is to trumpet the arrival of a new Robocop on the scene. So that's really all this game is good for. That's all for today. Follow, comment, and stick around. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!